Hi everyone, Banthony Camptano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for another episode of our every once in a while segment. Uh, it, came, uh, it came from Bandcamp, where I go through a series of Bandcamp albums that tickled my fancy, some of the weirdest and strangest and uh, most eye-widening albums the Upload It Yourself platform has to offer. We are going to start off this episode with a, a bit of a retraction of sorts. Not uh, one for this channel, though. One for my second channel where uh, I regularly l l review memes. And uh, recently in a video, I had reviewed a meme known as the Nutshack, a really horrible cancerous meme. Don't pay attention to it. Ignore it completely. Uh, but in my reviewing of this meme, and keep in mind these reviews are satirical. They're not really supposed to be that informational, but I, I digress. Uh, I did not mention the good people over at the Siva Gunner YouTube channel, which is a YouTube channel that is a uh, play, a bit of a parody on the Silva Gunner YouTube channel where you can find authentic quality rips of uh, video game music. This, however, uh, is a channel that looks like that channel in, in every way, shape, and form, you know, aesthetically, uh, visually, uh, wh however you want to call it. Um, but sort of the, the twist here is that Siva Gunner uh, their authentic, high-quality audio rips of video game music from uh, multiple uh, platforms and multiple consoles over the years um, are actually like parody remixes of pieces of video game music, uh, usually incorporating like chunks of Soldier Boy songs or like the Flintstones theme. Uh, it's pretty insane. And uh, I actually enjoy listening to a lot of them for, for a good laugh. And I actually think it's pretty creative that, uh, and, and you know, believe me, it's it's not like uh, you go to click on a Zelda song and you're like, oh, this isn't a Zelda song because immediately it just sounds like some other crap. Uh, what's so funny is that for the first like 10 or 30 seconds or so, it sounds exactly like the music you're gonna hear. The sound Sounds exactly like the music you want to hear, but then all of a sudden, like, the Flintstones theme has worked perfectly within the chord progression of whatever song you wanted to hear, and you're like, wow, not only does this work, but I'm not listening to what I want, and uh, I feel like I'm going insane. Uh, there's also a great uh, rip on that YouTube channel uh, <laughs> where uh, it's the Simpsons theme worked into uh, the, the, the Mega Man 2. It's uh, actually pr pretty powerful. Now, uh, these guys, they're not just on YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, their YouTube channel is now defunct. Um, they're not sort of putting out content anymore on that YouTube channel from what I understand, but uh, they uh, nice. where a lot of this stuff that was on their YouTube channel, and I imagine stuff that wasn't on there has, has sort of matriculated over onto the Bandcamp platform. How, how could they not be on Bandcamp and upload some of this pure gold? Uh, I want to recommend to you guys this Five Nights at Freddy's original soundtrack, which of course is not the Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> original soundtrack at all, uh, featuring uh, many things that are not the Five Nights at Freddy's original soundtrack. Uh, one thing uh, that stuck out to me the most and is absolutely hilarious is like this 8-bit uh, NES quality remix of the uh, Nutshack theme. There's actually quite a few uh, variations of the Nutshack theme on this, on this thing. <laughs> So I do want to recommend that, but I also want to recommend uh, this PC Master Rips album that they have on their Bandcamp page, uh, which is pretty uh, extensive in its um, coverage of a lot of the stuff you hear featured on this YouTube channel, a lot of the stuff that uh, um, is known um, as sort of a Siva Gunner sort of sound, a Siva Gunner joke, um, a Siva Gunner rip. Um, there's 150 tracks on this thing. It's absolutely nuts. I have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. Simpsons Rage.
<laughs> okay, you, you hear how it's working, okay? You're, you're listening to something else, you think you're hearing a chunk of video game music, and then all of a sudden the Simpsons theme starts working in. It's really niche, it's really weird, it's really nerdy. I, I have no idea how this became a thing on the internet to the point where there is such an incredibly large amount of participation in the gag that these have go that that, the, that these guys have going, it's uh, absolutely amazing. Um, and finally, on this same Bandcamp page, I want to recommend um, the album uh, "Ooh, I Smoke Weed, I'm Bob Dylan," uh, which is an amazing set of uh, covers and other songs, original tracks, I think, and uh, uh, covers of tracks that have nothing to do with uh, Bob Dylan. Um, <laughs> Uh, performed by uh, Pinky Oates, uh, one member of uh, Giva Sunner, Gilva Sunner, or uh, Siva Gunner, uh, however you want to say it. Um, and on these tracks, he is doing uh, this really, um, I don't know, let's say it's, let's say it's an impression of Bob Dylan uh, that isn't exactly worthy of a man who uh, just just won a, a Nobel Prize. Uh, let, let's just put it that way. Uh, I personally love this cover of the uh, I Play Pokemon Go uh, song. That's, uh, that's, that's become a huge meme on the internet. That's one of my favorites. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. Is, is this Bob Dylan? Wow, when did he find the time to, to record this? This one says the Flintstones theme. I'm morbidly curious. Flintstones, lead the Flintstones. They're the modern Stoney's family. From the town of Bedrock, they're... That's a pretty hot beat, though. I, I will say it's a hot beat. Check out that Give a Sunner link. It's down there in the description. You could check out their band camp, listen to those albums. Uh, let, let's move on to um, uh, 21 Layers with the album Blurry Shrek over here. This is a, a very, very special album uh, on Bandcamp. Uh, it is a mashup album, uh, which you can see from the cover over here is uh, pictured the front cover to uh, uh, 20 pi 21 Pilots' blurry face, uh, but there are some Shrek faces in there. And uh, of course the reason for that is, is um, I, I think uh, every single track on this record is, is mixed with uh, Smash Mouth's All Star. That's good because I hate that 21 Pilots song, so I'm glad that they did that. Uh, the, the Judge is Shrek is the title of this next track. Great. Wonderful. R relatively straightforward concept over here, guys. There's there's really no, uh, I don't know, there, there's, no, there's no hiding uh, exactly what the band is, is uh, or, or the artist is trying to do here. Artist. That's not in tune or tempo, but uh, they don't seem to care. Uh-uh. Why? 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 So, uh, yeah, th there you go. Blurry Shrek. R really no need to exp explain it any further than that. Uh, brought to us by the, the 21 Layers people, uh, or CABS, C-A-B-Z, on Bandcamp. That link is down there in the description if you want to drive yourself insane. Uh, this next one is uh, from Canada, Montreal, Canada. Uh, they go by the name of, I want to say this correctly, the A la Claire Ensemble. The uh, Les Frères Couleurs is the name of the record. I'm not even going to pretend to know how to pronounce it. And these guys are actually pretty eclectic and reputable and cool uh, uh, bilingual hip-hop outfit. Uh, not only are their instrumentals pretty... Um, uh, pretty intricate and smooth and jazzy and sweet to the ear and classy, uh, but the uh, English-French sort of dynamic of the lyrics on uh, these songs actually come together really well. Um, it's cool to sort of hear some uh, decent bilingual hip-hop uh, coming out, especially of, uh, 
of Canada, of all places. Uh, let's give uh, one track a shot. Uh, see, you know, not every album on this thing is, is a meme. Not every album on this thing is like a, uh, you know, like a, a, a band camp just pooping in your ear, pooping in your ears. Not every album on this segment is like that. It's dark. It's moody. It's a moody start. That was the fifth track on this album over here, in case you're curious. Uh, this one, Humble French Canadians. Okay, so, so I will say my bad. I have listened to a few tracks off of this. I thought this was like more of a jazzy thing. Not that that's a bad thing. I thought this was more of a jazz rap thing. Or maybe there's a track on here that sort of slipped my memory that is more in that vibe. Uh, but these sort of seem to have like, you know, more of a, a, a trap banger sort of a vibe to it, which is totally fine. Like the tracks I'm hearing right now are really fun. Um, it's grimy, it's nocturnal, it's French. Um, but I, don't, I don't know what else to say, guys. It's It seems like a pretty good record and uh, uh, the 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 cover is actually pretty cool too. I imagine sort of features all the members of the group over here. Seems like a pretty diverse smattering of bros all coming together to make this bilingual hip hop over here. God damn, that beat was fire. That fucking beat was fire on that fifth track. Drake, get these guys on a record. Fuck. Uh, moving on, this next project. Uh, goes by the name of Nutritious Variety for Your for your Amphibian Pet. Uh, this is one of those fun projects on uh, Bandcamp, the, the name of the album. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Nice religious title. Who doesn't like that? Uh, this album over here, it, it's it's like one of those records you find on, on Bandcamp where it's like the entire internet just projectile vomited into this one spot. Uh, there are samples of me on here, there are samples of a variety of different things on here, and some of it's like some crazy electronic stuff, some of it's like some crazy loud distorted guitar stuff. I'm really not sure uh, what to make of a lot of it. It's uh, quite jarring, confusing, and strange, I guess is how I'll, how I'll put it. Got this break me here. Not a break beat, but bustling beat. Some weird gurgles. Sick. What was that? I don't know. Yes, I just. <clears throat> Again, I don't. I don't know. Th this next track is called "What Was Any of That?" We we don't know. We'll never know. Uh, this next track is called. Turtle sex power violence. Keep in mind, uh, every single song on this thing, with the exception of just a few tracks, is one minute and nine seconds. Yes, one minute and nine seconds. Very specific, but there you go. Is, is the fact that it's one minute and nine seconds, that's 69 seconds, is that is that like a sex thing? Is that a sexual reference? Is, is this dirty? This uh, this next song is called Donkey Dad 666. It's, it's a hit. Smash mouth! Ow! Entire internet just throwing up into one place. That's essentially what this is. Um, and hey, you know, pr God bless it. God bless it. That's all I got to say. Um, next, this band on Wharf Cat Records, the good people at Wharf Cat Records, check them out. 
Uh, the band's name is Macula Dog, and the album is titled Why Do You Look Like Your Dog? Uh, now, these guys have some pretty interesting tags over here, and, uh, you know, a very, a very uh, in-depth description. They are a four-person electronic duo. A four-person electronic duo. A duo. Four people. Uh, making music that is just as much pop as the performers are human. Yeah. Uh, it's unclear. It, it certainly is, guys. Uh, but it says uh, experimental, noise rock, and roll. Uh, and one name in the tag is uh, Devo. And uh, I do love me some Devo. Uh, these guys certainly do seem to know how to dress quite well. In the uh, front cover over here, I do like a band that puts in effort, comes up with a crazy costume. That's usually pretty fun. And uh, this music over here is definitely experimental. It does have elements of Devo. It is kind of herky-jerky and nerdy. Um, it is quite synthetic as well, uh, but it, um, I, I, don't, I really don't know what else to say about it beyond that. It is an odd record, and I will just sort of let uh, the song New Boys Club uh, kind of speak for itself. If, um, um, it reminds me of if Devo tried to make a record with Black Dice or something like that. Like the synths and the tones are all like really watery and smudgy and kooky and colorful and psychedelic, kaleidoscopic and weird. Uh, there are some vocals worked in there, but they're kind of just as smudgy as everything else. And uh, uh, the grooves, the beats are really odd. Oh man. This uh, track is titled Anvils of Love. It, as you can hear, it is quite strange and overwhelming. I like that about it. It makes it cool, it makes it fun, it makes it intriguing. Um, maybe it's like a little too kooky for, for my taste personally, um, but uh, it is pretty wild. You know, it is pretty wild. Uh, these guys definitely are off the wall. And um, it does make me want to listen to it a little more later uh, when I'm, you know, not shooting this video or anything or, you know, not like kind of giving it a first taste so that I can kind of have a more raw reaction for this video over here. Uh, and finally, I want to end off with uh, by Trial of the Golden Witch, which is a little sort of like bedroom rap project, uh, uh, masterminded or at least uh, partially masterminded by our good friend Digibro, who uh, is a fellow YouTuber who I've had on my podcast, which is uh, uh, not doing too well. It's on life support. And uh, he <clears throat> reviews uh, the Amine, the Amine on his YouTube channel. He reviews the Amine. Chinese cartoons, as they call them, all the, as they call them, the M&A. Um, and he uh, has this edgy little, like, rap project over here with, like, growly vocals and weird beats, and it's uh, uh, quite strange. Bedroom bedrock, motherfuckers. The broadcast news is all subjective. The truth ain't there, you can't protect it. I don't believe a thing you said, bitch. I nod my head, ditch, and contemplate shit. Thank you, Digi Bro. Thank you, dude. You're you're dropping some, you're dropping some hot some hot bars there. So you're 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 coming through with some serious swagger. Uh, the, I'm curious about the fifth track over here, which is titled. Uh, I'm not gonna say. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's just give it a shot. Uh, hey. He's coming through with his, uh, his Danny Brown flow here, I think, a little bit. Yeah, 
in my mind that you thought you were mended. My friend, it's essential to be only me that's myself. Concern with my wealth and with my mental health. So what did they call me in school? Let me help. You've been struck with an end, right? Wait, holy hell. I nearly forgot that I'm white, so let me not say nigga when I sing along to a rap song, because that would be racist. Segregate the language. Forget my identity. Let's all say faces. What that? What that trap like the fool that it is? Take the white guilt for the kids. If the birds ever heard of a word like trap, I'm in school in the bathroom. Um, okay. Uh, it's obviously in some respects, it's, uh, like the angriest nerd rap I've ever heard. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's a particular kind of cringe. It's like, you know, it's like a spicy cringe, you know, it's not just like a boring bland. It's not your average cringe, you know, it's, it's it's super spicy and it's almost like conscious of its cringiness in a way uh, that that certainly works against it. But it's so admirably energetic and raw. I, I can't help but be, but be um, uh, pulled in by it a little bit and want to listen to it more because it just seems so fucking wild and off the wall that I'm curious as to where it's going to go next. Um, so so it has that going for it, which I think is a lot. That's a lot to have going for it. And Digibro, gotta gotta give the guy credit. He see, he seems to have flow. He seems to have flow. He know he knows his way around the beat. Okay, okay, all right. Like I just said, he he has a flow. You know, you can't deny the dude's flow. He's he's flowing better than like most amateur rappers who who hit me up on Twitter. Hey man, you want to hear my mixtape? Want to hear my mixtape? De definitely flowing way better than those dudes. Uh, <laughs> that that's that's gonna be it for this insane episode of uh, it came from Bandcamp, guys. Uh, th thanks for sitting in with me. Thanks for uh, sitting in on this craziness, on this zaniness. Uh, remember, all these artists, all these band camps are down there in the description box. So um, if you want to hear some Siva Gunner, if you want to hear some crazy internet throw up, if you want to hear some uh, Black Dice Devo insanity, if you want to hear some cringy white boy rap, if you want to hear some Shrek 21 Pilots mashups, if you want to hear some English, French, Canadian bangers, Hit up that description, please, because, again, all those links are down there. Okay, guys, uh, you're the best. Transition. Have you given any of these band camps a listen? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Uh, why? And uh, what do you think I should cover in the next episode of It Came From Bandcamp? Feel free to throw some of the most insane music you've heard on the platform down in the comments. Uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to check it out and incorporate it in the next episode if we dig on it. Uh, forever.